Thank you so much. Hallelujah. I'm going to talk to you this after the call. Deliverance dream of prosperity. Deliverance dream of prosperity 2017. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Welcome. The topic, once again, I'm going to talk to you is called Deliverance Dream of Prosperity 2017. This, this prayer, it is going to open many, 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 many doors for you. And it is a prayer that you need. 2017. It is going to bless so many people. And many of you, you have no idea what is going to happen 2017. Unless you go with this prayer that I'm going to share with you. 2017 is a, 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 a year that many of you, you need deliverance, dream of prosperity. You need a dream that will prosper you. You need a dream that will move you forward. You need a dream that will teach you. You need a dream that the angel will come and talk to you and guide you and tell you what to do. You need a, a, a dream of angels coming and training you. You need a, a, a dream that the angel of God will walk with you like the way he walked Peter from the prison. A dream that you need in 2017 is a dream that will bring you good news. A dream that will open your womb to give you a baby. A dream that will give you a good job. The dream that will, will come to you. Not a satanic dream all the time, witchcraft dream. 2017. It is the time, it's the year that most of you, as, as you will follow this prayer, we are going to do tonight. It is dream. It is going to come. You will have dream that will give you direction. Some of you, you have no direction. You don't know what to do. You have no direction. So you will need a dream to give you direction. Instead of wandering to every province, you know some people, they spend a lot of time going, you know, in a periscope. There's a lot of prophets. Some of them, they are false prophets. Some of them, they are making money. Some of them, they have opened a periscope as business to make money. And now, because you are desperately, you want to know what God is saying about you. You go, you call, you pay. It's not free. It's not free. They said plant a seed, you pay a seed, $100.00. After one thousand dollars, they ask people nothing. There's nothing free, so you go, you go asking. But you, are, you will get your own dream that will talk to you, will teach you, will make you to prophesy. You will become your own prophet. Remember what the Bible says: the last days, God is going to put give dreams and visions. So this is the last day. You must get a dream that will move you forward. You have to get a dream that will deliver you from the hands of the enemy. You must get a, a dream that will, will move you forward. A dream that will make you happy. You have never been having a dream that will say, today is your day. You have been having bad dreams all the time. But your time has come when you have this wonderful dream that will change your life forever. A dream of destiny. A dream of honor. The dream that, that, that it comes to you and you are never you will never be the same again. That's the dream you need to look, you, you need to, to get 2017. Let's look at what the scripture says. The, the scripture says from the book of Matthew 2, verse 12 to 13. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, sister. That's it. Matthew 2, verses 12 to 13 reads. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, to, and flee to Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. You see, now the dream came to this uh, 
the 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 dream came uh when jesus was born here is a wicked king who wanted to kill the children the child an innocent child now the dream came to the parents of jesus to warn them to tell them get away the enemy want to destroy the child Herod want to kill the child so there is the enemy that plan to destroy good things that god is going to give you Herod is the enemy who kills infant who kills good things that is coming to you but the dream which came to, to the to joseph and mary made them to to escape to go and hide the child so that the Herod cannot destroy the child. Therefore, you need a dream that will give you a danger. When, when you are, even in jobs, anywhere you are going, you need a dream to tell you don't go there. You are going to lose your money. You are going to suffer there. You need a dream. You need a dream to warn you, to tell you the job you are getting, your job you are entering in is a demon job, is a, 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 a evil job. Where you are going, you are going, it, it's not a good place you are going. Go, even the woman you are going to marry, it's not a woman that you need to marry. Even the husband you are going to marry, it is not a husband you are not going. You need a dream that will warn you or will speak to you so that you don't enter into evil or into the problem. This is the dream that you want to get, that you, you want to get that will move you forward. If Joseph and Mary, if, if, if Joseph and Mary they didn't get the dream, they could have stayed in Egypt and they, possible. It could have even who knows if a rather could have killed the child because the child was a human being like us. Now, God has good plans. That's why we know that Herodotus was very serious. He, he, didn't, he was not joking. Until God has to run Jesus away from, 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 from there so that Herodotus do, do not kill him. He, I, I, God was having power to kill Herodotus and Jesus remained there. But he, he has to run Jesus out of the country so that he can be saved where he was going there in Egypt. It is that way that you have been entered into problem because you have never had a dream to warn you. A dream is the best prophet, is the best teacher, is the best way that you can help yourself. You have to pray. You have to ask God. You have to, to go pray and fasting. You have to really to seek God to give you the dreams. You need a dream from God which will, give, which, which will give you direction or which will warn you when you are going to enter in a wrong job, in a wrong place, in, in doing something that is not going to help you. In, in, in the future, then you start having problem. This is why we, we love God, but because God says nothing will happen without revealing to his servant. Don't waste your money to run all over to the prophets or rover to tell you what God is saying. God has, God will talk to you. This is the last days. That's what the Bible says. Now, let's look to another scripture. From the book of 1 Kings 3, verse 5 to 10. Amen. Amen. 1 Kings 3, verses 5 to 10 says, In Gideon, the Lord appeared to Saul in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give thee. Listen, listen. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what shall I give you? You know, at night, well, that's why we have night and day. Now, at night, like this time, when people, after this, you will go to sleep or you will pray until you go to sleep. When you sleep, God will visit you at night. Or it, it, if you are working night, you come home, you, you pray, you prepare yourself, you go to sleep. Your night is, is day. But here, we are talking night, really night like this time. The God appeared to Solomon and, and told him, ask, ask anything you want. What does the Bible say, sister? And Solomon said, Thou hast shown unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy. 
according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept him for this great kindness mm -hmm. that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is, as it is this day. Yes. And now, O Lord my God, Thou hast made thy servant king instead of David my father, and I am but a little child. I am not how to go out or come in. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. Amen. 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 Now, you see, when God appeared to Solomon and asked Solomon to ask what he wants, Solomon, he went as far as referring God telling God of what he promised to his father, David. God was patient and quiet and waiting upon what Solomon could ask. Solomon, he didn't ask anything. He said, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. I don't need to go everywhere to ask wisdom from people. I don't want counseling from people who will come and lie on me. I want you to give me wisdom. Now, what happened? What happened? Verse 11 to 15. Amen. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked for riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. Mm -hmm. And if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments, as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days. And Solomon awoke, and behold, it was a dream. And he came to Jerusalem, and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and offered up burnt offerings, and offered peace offerings, and made a feast to all his servants. Amen. Amen. Now, you know, Solomon had a lot of conversation with God the whole night. So, but when, 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 when Solomon woke up, he found it was a dream. He was so happy, he was excited how God has talked. And you know, in the dream, they were talking with God and God was talking to him. Now, God did what Solomon did not ask. He said, you did not ask given to kill your enemy. You did not ask anything. I'm giving them everything that you didn't ask. Verse 13, it says, and I will give, I will also give you what you have not asked, both riches and honor, that there will not be any, anyone like you among the kings all your days. That's why I'm saying they said dream that will bring uh, a, a gift. The dream, you know, this is, this is a gift God gave to Solomon. God gave a Solomon a gift of money, gift of prosperity. Gift of wealthy. Yes? The same God, the same God that we serve is able to give you a dream of prosperity. Dream of prosperity from zero to hero. Is he able to do that? Now, when Solomon woke up, he saw that, oh, he, he, he looked at himself, he pinched himself, he said, I thought I was talking with God. Yeah, it's God. So I must go and over. I must, because he was so excited, he went straight to over. He went and do the overing. That's how they were operating. When you get something, even when you when you, you want anything, you go and over. He went and over 
so that he can seal the, the dream with the, an offering. Therefore, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus, God Almighty will give you the, the dream that he will give you a, a prosperity, the dream of deliverance that will deliver you from poverty and give you prosperity and give you wisdom and honor in Jesus' name. Look at what God gave to Solomon. That God is, does not have any respect of a person. God is the same today and forever. Jesus Christ is the same today and forever. God has never changed. He gives people vision of prosperity. And no one will take it to you. He said no king in Israel will be like him. And for sure, he was so rich. He, he, he was so rich that he was able to marry 700 women and 300 concubines. That's how, how he, made, he, he became so wealthy. So that those women will take care of his wealth. You, you, you see, he, he got a lot of wisdom that he, he could not even take it. Because this wisdom, it was all a lot that he was not able to take it. Until he went and married so many women, including bad and women who worship the idols. When God blesses you, no one will take it. It will be up to you to give it to the enemy. And if you give it to God, the right place, you, no one will touch it. No demon, no witchcraft will touch your prosperity. Like what God has said, what God did to, 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 to Solomon. I pray that God, that, that, that provides to Solomon, he will be able to provide it to you. He will give you a dream that will open the blessings, the windows of heaven. That will come down and boil to your life in Jesus' name. Let's go to another scripture. It's not, it's not only Solomon. You, you see what, how the, the dream came to, to Joseph and Mary to warn them. That is, here is the enemy wants to destroy your child. Grant the child away. So the child was escaped. Until the, that the enemy died is when the child was returned back. So your enemy will be destroyed. The enemy that wants to destroy your, your dreams will die tonight. Hallelujah. Uh, let's look at the book of Genesis 28, verse 10 to 17. Amen. Yes. This is 28, verse 10 to 17 reads, And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Taran. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father. And the God of Isaac, the land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee. And will keep thee in all thy places with thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place? This is none other but the house of God. And this is the gate of heaven. Amen. Amen. Now also Jacob had the same, same dream. And his dream, you can see, verse, verse, verse 13 to verse 15, God appeared to him and, and met him and told him, I will give you everything you want. Prosperity dream. When Jacob woke up, he said, surely, this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob also 
donated over, give offering. If you look down that scripture, you will see he, he brought the oil and poured it out and give an offering. He said, God, as he said, he will do it. Therefore, I pray that God, God of Jacob, will appear to you tonight, will change your story completely, will give you a dream of prosperity, a dream that you will, you will never, 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 never serve again, a dream of healing, a dream of giving you the right wife or the right man or the right child that you are looking. If you are looking a female child or a married child, God is going to give you that dream to tell you that I'm going to give you a baby boy this year, this hour. God is going to give you a dream which will, 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 will wipe tears from your eyes. Anything you have been looking, God is going to give you a dream, a deliverance dream that will prosper you, that will move you from zero to hero in the mighty name of Jesus. You, lo you see, this is the dreams. It is really, these are a human being. They are not angels. They are not from heaven. They are like me and you. And, and God was speaking to them. Even now, God to speak to people. It's not that they, they, God was talking only to them. God comes to people and talk to them and give them a dream, give them a vision, talk to them. Or some, some people, they see God face to face, but you can't see his, his face, but you can see his movement. You can see the, a part of God. You can see a half of the, 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 the body of God. So I'm telling you that today is your time. You have been looking, 2017. As we are jumping to 2017, you have to pray. You have to fast and pray and ask God to give you a dream of prosperity, to give you a deliverance a dream that will move you forward in the mighty name of Jesus. These people, God gave them a dream. They, they were not given a dream like that. They were humble. They were praying. They were waiting. They were in a quiet place where they were waiting for the God to speak to them. And God appear to them and speak and give them the vision, the dream of changing their life completely. You can see how uh, Jacob became wealthy. Jacob became so wealthy. He built a lot of wealth. You see, that is how, that's you. That's you and your household. No matter what you are, if you look at even, even, even the, the, the prophets, people of the Old Testament, even the New Testament, you can see how people were going, were, 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 were rich because they had good dreams. They had good dreams, not the witchcraft dreams attacking me, dreams evil feeding on their dreams. It is not going to happen like that. That's why I'm here to pray with you. And I told you, if you don't dream at all or you have bad dreams, call me. I will activate your dreams and I will put a stop that witchcraft feeding you on the dreams. You have to love yourself. You have been praying for yourself. You have been praying, but nothing is coming. Call me. Our number, hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Our number is 905-792-3798. Call me. I will help you. I will activate your dreams. Or go to the prophet, a man of God who knows how to, provide, how to activate your dreams. There's this man of God, uh, John Hekai. If you can reach there or where he is, it's very good he can help you to activate your dreams. You need your dreams to be activated. If you are not dreaming at all, you already dream that you have been fed on the dream, somebody is sexing you, you have dream of sex, you have dream of feeding, bad dreams, animals, animals coming to chase you, with dogs fighting you, snakes fighting you, see dead body being sold. Those not, that, that's not the, your portion. Those are witchcraft dreams. You have to command them to die. You have to speak to them. Go to the people of God who can help you. If you cannot call me, go and, and get help. I'm telling you that you need a prosperity, you need a deliverance, prosperity dream. That will change your life forever. I'm going to pray for you now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray every information about your life in satanic archive. I command them to come out with all the roots in Jesus' name. Satanic archive, witchcraft coven, they put your names. That they, they chant, you know, they are wicked and evil. When, when Herod 
So the child, the star of the child, he was, he was disturbed. He felt like he wanted to kill that child. And he decided to kill children. That's why I pray that because people see your vision, see your stars, see who you are, then they want to kill you. That's why witchcraft are feeding you at night. That's why you have those bad dreams. Because they know that, it, it, that who you will be. Now they are attacking you to, to, to kill your, your, your vision, to kill your blessings. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, any witch, any wicked, any personality, putting your name in your cauldron, chanting against you, fitting you in the dream, whether it's a physical or a spiritual, let the ground open and swallow them in Jesus' name. I bind them, I destroy them. I am asking the blood of Jesus to enter into your body and, 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 and melt and destroy every satanic food that you have been fed, anything that has been entered in your body, hindering your blessings, hindering you from dreaming good dreams in Jesus' name. I am asking Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to release his blood into your system, to wash away and clean away all satanic dreams, all that dogs fighting you, animals chasing you, sex in the dreams that you are being divided. Let the blood of Jesus wash you and clean you in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray every sacred covenant that is affecting your destiny, I command them to be revealed. Let God give you a sacred dream that will reveal the destiny, that your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God will give you the secret of your life, the secret of your, 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 your ministry, the secret of your calling, the secret of your children, the secret of the place where you are working, so that you can know what kind of a job you are doing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that every secret that you need to know about your father's house, let it be manifested in Jesus' name. Some of you, you have been attacked from the powers of your father's house, the powers of your mother's house, the powers from the pit of hell that has been arresting against you. That's why they are coming to attack you. So God will reveal those, 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 those powers of your father's house in the dream, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God will reveal to you the, the powers of your father's house and the powers of your mother's house that is holding you, that is giving the enemy access to attack you in your dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that every ancestral sacred that is withstanding on your progress, I command them to manifest by fire and die and be destroyed and be wept in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, yes, God, I thank you, Father. Jesus, I thank you. I pray that any time an agent of darkness comes to your way, let them go and be disgraced in Jesus' name. Any, any time when agents of darkness racing against you to come and fit you in the dream, to come and attack you in the dreams, let them be disgraced and exposed in Jesus' name. Let them meet the lock of ages and break them in pieces in Jesus' name. I pray that every power breaking, uh, packing up enemies, enemies, I am commanding them their time is up now. Their time is up. No powers of darkness will pack up the enemy to come and attack you in your, in your dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus, your dream life will catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, your dream life will be delivered to, tonight. Let your dream to be delivered by fire, by thunder. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray your dream be delivered. Let your dream to be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am asking the Holy Spirit, the power in the blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, to enter into your dream and wash your dream in the mighty name of Jesus. Every enemy of your dream, I cast them. I cast them. I command them to be destroyed. I bind them. I render them powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything you have eaten or swallowed that is killing you, small, killing you slowly, slowly, let them die. Let them be punished. Let them be rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father, I want to thank God. I command anything you have, you have been eaten, you, they have fed you something. 
And these things is coming to kill you literally, literally. Or come to dis de de destroy you slowly, slowly. Let that thing defeat you to be vanished and to be washed away by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, my Father. Any power sacrificing your name for evil so that you can run mad. Let themselves run mad and die. In the mighty name of Jesus. I break every curse issues against your dream. Every curse, you know, wicked people, they can come and, 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 and shut your dream. You don't dream at all, or you only dream bad dreams. Or when you dream, they come and whip them. They come and take the dream immediately, so you don't remember anything. I command that agents that is whipping your dreams, that they are taking your dream to die, to be destroyed in Jesus' name. You know, the dreams are very important. Even if they are what? They, are, they, have, a, they have a mission. Therefore, enemy that is jealous with your dreams, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. I command them to be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I break and lose. I, command, I break and lose you from every evil dreams, every dream of captivity that is attacking you. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. I command them to lose to lose from your life completely in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God to, to help you, to draw you closer, so that you can be able to dream the dreams that, that will prosper you. You need a deliverance dream that will prosper you, a dream of prosperity, not a dream of attack, attack, witchcraft, attack all the time. I pray any witchcraft attacking you in the dreams, let them be destroyed. The Bible says, let them die. Let them die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, my Father. Oh, God, I ask you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let the angels to come around you and protect you from every evil dreams, from any arrows of witchcraft, arrows of witchcraft fired to your life in dreams. Let them die. You know, many people, they catch fire, sickness through when they, they, they send arrows of sickness. They can send, they can fire arrows of sickness directly to your heart, directly to your head, directly to your eyes, and you can get sickness straight away like that. Uh, a lady, one time a lady had a dream that there's a snake spit on her eyes, and that woman woke up, she was gone blind completely, and she had a dream, and that's what she said. I, I had a dream that the snake sp uh, spit on my eyes, and now when I wake up, I found I can't see, I'm blind. I pray every witchcraft snake that has been programmed to spit on your eyes and you go blind. Let that snake catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Some, some people, they get a dream they, that they saw accident. And for sure, they get accident and maybe they get injured or they get accident and die. I pray every satanic accident that wants to destroy your life, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray that you will have power. In, in your dream, so that you can stop any tragedy that the enemy is programming against your life in Jesus' name. By the power that created heaven and earth, I pray every satanic dream, every witchcraft dream that they are waiting for time to manifest, let them die, let them be wept, let them be rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your dreams in Jesus' name. I pray every evil bird programmed into your life from your place of bed. I pray that let those beds to die. Let those beds to catch fire and burn to ashes. The satanic beds that will come during night, all of you see them in the dreams, all of physical. Today, I was praying on my altar and suddenly I saw a bunch of beds. It's this, it's this winter. And Satan, Satan sent a bunch of wind, uh, a bunch of birds. I was not dreaming. I was just sitting. And then I saw this dream, uh, these birds coming. I they started making noise. I said, "You birds, and your owner who sent you, I command you to die with your owner. Get out and die." As I finished like that, the birds grew. I didn't even shout. I didn't even do anything. I just said like that. The birds ran away, ran away. Because I, I sent fire to them. Therefore, when you get a dream, or you see birds, they satanic birds, that is the witchcraft are using. When you see birds like that, just release fire. 
Don't panic. Don't do anything. Release fire. Because these are the ones who are coming to destroy your life, to take away good dreams, to take away your prosperity. I pray that every satanic bat programmed in your dreams to take away your prosperity, to take away good things that God has given to you. Let them catify and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. I pray that it is high time, 2017, is the here that your dreams, will, you will be dreaming dream of prosperity. Ministers, prophets, if your ministry is not growing, it is one, God is going to give you a, min, a, a dreams that will show you how your ministry will grow in Jesus' name. If, if you are a prophet and you fear, God has called you. No, you don't talk you, you, because you fear you don't want to share. God is going to give you a, a dream that will move you forward. You will be standing boldly and you will pro, uh, prophesy the word of God that God has given to you. I pray that God Almighty will deliver you and give you prosperity dream that will prosper you and move you forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord is good. I pray that God will use your dream to show you your divine spiritual assignment. God will use your dream to show you as your assignment, your assignment, your spiritual assignment. What do you have? What? Who are you? What God has called and your calls. God will call you and give you a dream of your assignment. Spiritual assignment. What, what to do in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God will show you a vision of heaven. To, uh, God will show you a vision of heaven in your dreams in Jesus' name. God will show you a vision of heaven. You will see how heaven operates. You will see some things you have no idea. I, some, I tell you these things that I do. Most of them I didn't go to train. I just get them. I can go to class in heaven and they will show me what to do. When I wake up, I just go straight and I started touching things. I found it is working. I have, I, I, I have done this and I, all the time. I just get it. I go and I get it and I get it. And I, when I come, I started doing, I, I found it. What, what, like these computers, I just get it. Everything I want to do, I just get it from heaven. I don't get any class. I told you that I was desperately looking for somebody to help me on editing my videos. I went to my dear friend to ask her to help me if she can help me to, to, to edit my videos. She told me one video is 100 per hour. And, and the editing the video sometimes it takes a long time. It can take one hour or more because you have to edit it very intelligently, nice, and, and it, it takes time for sure. Now, one video is 100 per hour, and I have so many videos that I wanted her to edit. And then she said, that is all. I said, maybe I thought she could tell me $100 per video. But if she said $100 per, per, per hour per video, that is too expensive. I, and I'm also fishing. I'm also working for it. I, have not, I don't have a lot of money to pay such, such a money. Now, I came home and I was asking God, God, show me. God, show me. God, how do I do this thing? And then immediately I saw the, I saw the vision. God was showing me what to do. And then I, I wake up straight. I come to the computer. I started doing what I saw in the dream. I got it. I was very happy. I thank God I ran in the house. I was very, very, very happy. And that is how God always drains me. And God has been very faithful and shows me things that I don't know. Sometimes I was driving. I don't know where I was going. I just ask the Holy Spirit, please, God, show me. Show me what do I go. God, how do I go? Then I see God, direct, I, I'm, I get in my way. I have seen the dream sometimes when I, I'm planning to go somewhere. I get the dream God told me, don't go or go certain time. And then I followed and that is exactly what happened. God will give you a dream to move you forward. Before, when I, I didn't know, I had a dream that I was given a visa and everything was automatic. Everything was automatic. Many time, many, many, many years ago. Now, when the time came, honestly speaking, God is my witness. I don't have to lie to you or I don't have to say this to you. It is that, that is the same way. American Embassy, I was called. The phone, I was, they called me to go and get the visa. <laughs> 
exactly like the dream that, that I saw. And then the second year in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a Canada, my visa was paid by High Commission of Canada. Yeah. I went with the money, money holder to pay the visa to return my, 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 my money back. So they said, you have been paid. Exactly what I saw. So many, I got so many visas when I was in Africa. Not I was so special, but the dream that I got, I've never struggled to get a visa or to, to be denied a visa. I was given my visas everywhere. In Britain, I got a visa. I, I, was, I, they, they, I, I told them, I need a visa of two weeks. They give me two years. <laughs> you see, exactly the dream that I saw. Now, if you want God to help you, to deliver you, that is what you can pray. You can ask God to deliver your, your, your dreams. You ask God, you pray, God, deliver my, 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 my dreams. My dream, life, my, 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 my dream life, receive fire. I need the deliverance of dreams. I need the deliverance of dreams. Go to the deliverance minister. Uh, Saturday, I will be doing anointing service. I'm going to anoint you. You bring your own oil. And if you are not been dreaming, that will be an opportunity for you to be there on Saturday, 9 a.m. Buy your own oil. I don't sell oil. Don't buy oil from people. Buy your own oil because there's power. That will, will, I will speak it will enter in that oil. It doesn't matter the distance. You buy your own oil. There's no point of going to buy little oil like, like uh, 10 milligram, uh, $100, and it, you, you just use it for two days, few days, it's gone. Buy one liter of olive oil and bring it. Some of you, you'll get that, that, that help. It is going to help you to have, when you use that, that oil, you will start dreaming and you will give me testimony. I want you to start dreaming good dreams, dreams of prosperity. That is 2017. That's what God is going to do for your life. You need the direction of your dreams in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I will stop. We are not going far because we are still praying and we are still continuing with the prayer. You are way to 2017. It's, we are continuing praying. Tomorrow I'm on in the morning. And then Saturday morning, I will be on on the morning. Tomorrow morning, evening, I will not be on. I will be going to our ministry for deliverance. So I pray that God will give you a dream tonight. You will have to dream. If you have not been dreaming, I am asking God to give you a dream in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I am asking for this person who does not dream to, to start dreaming. I am asking in the mighty name of Jesus. People have been attacked by demons. People have been attacked by the devil. People have been attacked by witchcraft. People have been molested by spirit, the husband, spirit, the wife. Today it is an end. Let it be end. No one will be attacked by spirit, the husband, spirit, the wife, all witchcraft. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I silence them. I destroy them. I bind them. I command you to be silenced and to go forever in Jesus' name. Let the Holy Ghost fire destroy anything that is coming to you to take away the blessings of God. You will start dreaming the whole dreams. You will start dreaming like what Joseph was dreaming. You will start dreaming like, like what Jacob dreams. You will start dreaming like what uh, I, Joseph, uh, 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 Joseph uh, Solomon, what they were dreaming in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that today, today, the Lord of Elijah, the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, will we give you the dream that will change your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The dreams that will move you forward, not satanic dream, not witchcraft dream, every witchcraft dream coming to you. I destroy you. I bind you. I curse you. I command you to stop in Jesus' name. Witchcraft dream, hear the word of God. Tonight is your end. You will never come to attack this person. Every witchcraft dream, I curse you. I bind you. I render you powerless. I break you into pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Satanic dream, Amen. get out of these people. All witchcraft dream, get out. Out, out, out in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who, has, who does not dream. Tonight we will start dreaming in Jesus' name. I am releasing the fire of God to destroy and dismantle every witchcraft dream, every evil dreams to die in Jesus' name. 
I'm releasing the whole spirit of God to fall upon you and clean every satanic dream in your mind. Anything that has been programmed in you to bring those evil dreams to be cleansed. I'm asking the Holy Spirit to clean your mind, to clean your mind. Holy Spirit, clean the mind of these people. Clean their mind, clean their vision, clean their heart in Jesus' name. Let the blood of Jesus wash you, wash your mind. Anything programmed in your, in your, in your mind, let it die. Let it clear away in Jesus' name. I thank God that today you will be dream. You day you are going to get a dream that will move you forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I want to thank God for everyone. I praise God and I give you, I give God the glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Amen. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi, saying bye bye, bye bye. See you tomorrow, nine nine a.m. And also, as you need me to pray for you, some people, you might call me back. If I have not called you, uh, I might be busy. All uh, you, you, you call me, you remind me to call me so that I can activate your dreams. You need your activation dreams. You need me to pray for you. Or if you can trust a prophet, a man of God, who can pray for you to activate your dreams, I would say go and get the help. Because you need to dream good dreams, not satanic dreams, not evil dreams. You need the Holy Ghost fire to clean you and you start being, dreaming again in Jesus' name. I prayed for you. I hope tomorrow you will come with the, a, a, with the, with the testimony. This is our number to reach us, 905-792-3798. Call me. I'm here for you. Also, you can reach us through email overcomers dhm at gmail.com overcomers dhm uh, at gmail.com also we have email we have email we have website you can go there and get us and and you can get your help from there www.overcomers dh ministry god help you and 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 i'm here to help you too Thank you very much once again. I love you so much and there's nothing I can do about it. You know I love you and I love you. I love you so much. I love you and there's nothing I can do about it. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye bye.